Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this absolutely beautiful 1967 Citroen DS21 Palace that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. And I will be waxing lyrical about this. It is beautiful. Anyway, hope you like it. Okay, quick video of start up and idling on this uh, Citroen. Ignition light lights up as it should. You probably can't see it because of the uh, the sun's behind us, but the ignition lights up there, and it is it is a light. Starts beautifully. Starts well. This one, whether it's hot or cold, there's no uh, overheating or anything. It drives absolutely superbly. Now we'll show you under the bonnet. Here we are. Little two point uh, two point one engine four cylinder doing what it should. You can also hear the suspension pump occasionally kicking in and out. But uh, just does what it's supposed to do. There we go, next up, driving. Okay, let's take this uh, 1967 Citroen DS21 Palace for a spin. Obviously you can see it's left-hand drive. Um, I absolutely adore this car. Uh, I drove it back 70 miles from uh, up in the Cotswolds yesterday from where it have been in storage. Beautiful drive, they just glide along. They're fantastic cars, they really are. And this is a really fantastic example of a fantastic car including um, having the uh, the generation 2 wave dashboard which is quite highly sought after um, it looks like a jukebox <laughs> it's fabulous showing 93,000 kilometers um, can't say at the minute whether that's right or wrong but uh, it's it's in gorgeous shape it really is um, anyway let's take it for a spin handbrake is off ignition is on the ignition light comes up as it should Starts on the button, whether it's hot or cold, you do have a choke for the uh, for when it's cold. Uh, this is a 67 car, so it's the year before they, they uh, put them onto fuel injection. Um, suspension is going up as it should. And uh, yeah, it's ticking over nicely. Off we go. Can we see out of the back window here? Merge into the traffic. Column change, and this one is a, um, a four speed manual. Personally, I like the thought of the um, uh, semi automatic gearbox, but I don't like the thought of the complexity of it. So, uh, um, the manual I think is probably the sweet spot. But it's just glorious to drive. You've got power brakes, power steering. Obviously, brakes take a bit of getting used to because it's got the um, uh, the mushroom button rather than the pedal. But they really do stop you. And it just basically glides down the road. Bumps don't bother it. it just goes over them. It's going where it's placed steering-wise. There's absolutely no uh, sinister noises or rattles or anything. If you are hearing any rattles, it's coming from the camera mount itself. Uh, all the instruments are working. What there is, you've got uh, the speedo, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and the clock. Imagine these the first ones of these came out in 1955. It must have been like a spaceship then. That's it, mate. You just pull out for me. Good job, this stops well. Hey! Indicator on. The one thing to bear in mind with these DS21 
devices, as with most Citroëns of the era, the indicators do not self-cancel, you have to do it yourself. wider at the front than they are at the back so uh, the road is a bit narrow here but obviously if the front can go through the back can. It's fabulous, it really is. Um, I love it. I hope a new owner does as well. Um, yeah, brilliant.